All right, seems like we're live. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please let me know. My name is Octavio Diaz. I'm the owner of Raw Fitness and Durka Sports Nutrition. And I have a question for you. Have you ever asked yourself, what if I'm not good enough? What if I don't make it? What if I fail? What if I try this and I put all this effort and it doesn't work? What if after all the effort and sacrifices, I end up looking stupid? What if people judge me? What are my loved ones gonna think about me if I don't succeed at this, right? If I fail again, what if, what if, what if? What if I just don't have what it takes, right? What if I waste my time? What if I don't have the money? What if I don't have the resources? What if I don't have the genetics? What if somebody hurts me? What if I get hurt in the process, right? I know that if I am completely honest with you, I struggle with this a lot. Since I ever have, since I have a memory, I've been struggling with what if I'm not good enough? What if it doesn't work? What if I fail? What if I just can't do it? What if I put all this energy into it and then I end up losing, right? And today I wanna to talk to you about this and I wanna call it What If Wednesday, right? Because if I'm completely honest with you, when I started and I was young and I was, most of you know that I'm, I was bullied, I was the smallest, weakest kid, you know, funny looking, skinny with a big round belly, weak, shy, couldn't even look at you in the eye. I was bullied, I was suicidal, I was alone. I know that those thoughts cross my head. What if I don't get out of this? What if the rest of my life is like this? Or what if I try to change it and I, and, and, and I fail, right? And I went into my fitness transformation when I said, you know what, enough, I gotta, I gotta do something about this. And if I would have stayed in that self-doubt, I'm gonna be honest with you, I wouldn't be here today. I would have committed suicide when I was a teenager. And when I started my business, Raw Fitness, uh, I started with lots of struggles. We've been in business for, it's gonna be nine years next month, since 2010. Uh, and 90% of businesses don't even make it through the first year. First of five years, 90% of businesses die, they don't make it. We've been in business for, it's gonna be nine years. Now, I thought about this, well, what if I fail? I don't have the knowledge. I don't have any money. I don't have anybody supporting me. I don't have credit to get a, a, a loan. I don't get credit to rent a warehouse and do this. I don't, what if I don't have any clients? What if uh, the competition puts me out of business? What if I just fail and have to move back with my parents? What if I don't have any money to eat? What if I can pay the bills? What if I can pay my employees? What if my clients don't get results? And if I would have been stuck with that, what if? What if I'm not good enough? It wouldn't be Raw Fitness today. There wouldn't be Durka Sports Nutrition today. The love of my life, Mama Ra, Sophia. I had the biggest doubts going after her because I thought I wasn't good enough. I thought she was too much for me. I thought that caliber of a woman deserves something much more than this, that this man right here, right? That this average man with self-doubt, with limitations, with adversities, that has a million flaws, not even close to perfect or good, right? And if I would have get stuck in the what if, she wouldn't be in my life today. We wouldn't be married today. There wouldn't be Mama Ra today, right? So the reason I'm telling you all this is to show you that I don't care who you are. We all go through this, right? And today in this what if Wednesday, I want you to go warrior mode. Don't go into victim mode and stay stuck in your doubt, okay? I don't want you to keep saying, what if this doesn't work? What if I fail? What if I'm not good enough? What if I look stupid? What if they judge me, right? What if, what if I get rejected? What if, if I end up alone, all alone? What if they betrayed me? Look, every single girlfriend I've had cheated on me, except for my now wife, right? But every single one of them, so many people in my business have betrayed me, have stabbed me on the back after I helped them. Like, it's gonna happen, <laughs> that's what you're gonna accept. Not everything is gonna go according to plan. But the question I want you to ask today, and from now on, starting today on this What If Wednesday, is ask yourself, what if it doesn't work? What if I end up succeeding? What if I end up surprising myself? What if I end up surprising my sister or brother that is a hater, or a naysayer, right, in your own family? or your uncle or your aunt or whatever. What if I prove them wrong? 
What if I prove me right? What if I actually can lose the weight and feel great? What if I can actually be the role model parent? What if I can actually get promoted? What if I can actually get out of debt, right? Look, we're gonna die anyway. That's your friendly reminder of the day, you're gonna die and we're gonna die. And that's one of the things I try to remind myself, hey, I'm gonna die anyways. Do I wanna die in regrets and saying, well, it could have happened, but it didn't because I was scared of not being good enough, not making it happen? Or I can die trying, right? Look, if it happens, great. If it doesn't, I executed the plan. Peace of mind, baby. Peace of mind. So what if it can work? What if you can run the marathon? What if you can lose the weight? What if you can get off the medications? What if you can get a, an amazing relationship with your significant other? Or what if you can get out of that toxic, real, toxic relationship? Because I know I've been there. What if you can take your vacation with your family? What if you can pay off your mortgage? You know, what if you can actually be proud of yourself? What if you can actually inspire others and feel great? Okay, so let's switch to a different what if. What if you win? What if you succeed, right? So here's what I, what I have done uh, to, well, of course, I didn't do this. I did this piece, but I haven't created this myself. You know, Durka Sports Nutrition is here and we're at six Rough Fitness locations in El Paso and um, Las Cruces. We are the ones that popularize the fat, fat burning 30 minute fat loss workouts. Uh, of course, I say we because it's a whole team effort in myself. But the thing I did is I said, well, what if it could work? And I developed a checklist, okay, of if this was going to become a reality, if this dream is going to become a reality, what are the things that I need to do daily to get there, right? So you get the vision, you get the goal, and then you have to re reverse engineer, right? So I said, well, if I'm gonna be the leader of this, the leader of my life and the leader of this movement, what do I have to do every day that is non-negotiable to move me closer to those goals, to make that dream a reality? And I made that list. And now, I don't let the big goal overwhelm me. I let it pull me towards it. But guess what? There's days of discouragement where everything goes south and you know, just everything goes wrong. And what you wanna do is not let that intimidate you, just focus on your list. What is the daily actions, daily habits I need to execute on? And guess what? If you execute on those things and you can check them off every single day, then what is there to worry about? Like, hey, if you succeed, great. If you don't, so be it. You execute it as long as you executed the plan. But you don't wanna just fail or you know, cross your arms and say, well, it didn't happen because of the economy or because I didn't have the knowledge or the time or the right support or because I didn't have the, knowledge, the genetics or the knowledge or I didn't have good credit or because the boss preferred the, uh, my coworker than me. Like, take responsibility. Take responsibility. As long as you execute that plan, like for me, it is I get up every single day at the same time. First thing I do, I go into my writing mode, right? Goals, ideas, innovations. How can I get closer to this? I go into, I drink my pre-workout with my BCAs, right? I go into the gym, I work out. I, after, of course, like a, an hour or two of scheming and deep work, focus work, I work on things that can move me forward. Before I talk to anyone, before I check my email, before I check my social media, before I start seeing what they need from me, I have this clear focus time to move forward. And after those three, four, five hours of the day where I was laser focused, then I can go into talking to other people, checking my email, checking what everybody needs for me, all these other things. But first it's the priority. Is that power list, that checklist that will get you through that goal, to that goal, to that dream, right? Now, like I said, if you're executing every day, then who cares about the what if? Whether it happens or it doesn't, you did your part, you executed, and you can have peace of mind, no regrets, right? So, look, I heard something amazing this morning. It says, if you're not living your dream, you're already dead, right? So if you're not pursuing, I believe, it's not if you're living your dream, because I think if you're living your dream and then you stay there, you settled. 
right? It's a constant, never-ending pursuit of growth, progress, improvement, betterment, right? More fulfillment, more satisfaction. Um, so I think, like, my reminder was, you're gonna die. So choose how you wanna die. In my opinion, if you're not living every day in the pursuit of your dream, you're already dead. You're dead alive, right? Who cares if you have another 20 or 40 years? What does it matter if you're gonna be living like, oh, this regret, oh, this doubt, oh, what if, what if, what if, what if, right? So this what if Wednesday, I want you to change the question. What if it can work? What if I am good enough? What if I am good enough and I surprise myself and I can feel proud of myself? What if I actually don't get rejected? Or actually, guess what? Welcome to rejection. You're gonna get rejected. Let's just rephrase that. You're gonna get rejected, but what if I get rejected 110 times or a thousand times and I didn't quit and that 1001 actually broke through and it worked, right? So that's my invitation to you on this What If Wednesday. Flip the questions, flip your mindset. And remember, we all have to go through this. We all have the fear of not being good enough. We all have the fear of, you know, what if it doesn't work? What if we're judged? What if I embarrass myself? What if I look stupid? What if I hurt myself? What if, whatever, right? Roll with it, okay? Be a warrior. Like, I changed my mindset years ago and I said, fuck what if, okay? I'm not gonna be a what if person, I'm gonna be a warrior. And if it happens or not, guess what? I'm gonna die freaking trying. And that's what I want you to do. I'll talk to you next time.